Rata and the Tree, a traditional story animated by the members of Nine Nine Clubhouse. This is a story from a long, long time ago when our ancestors lived in Hawaii Nui. The weather patterns were changing. It began to rain and rain. A big storm was coming. The people in Rata's village were vulnerable. The chiefs of the different tribes came together to decide what to do. There were many different ideas, like sailing to another island, building stronger houses, or building a wall. The days went by, but the village could still not agree on what to do to protect themselves from the flood. Rata, who wanted the respect of his village, went home to think. He had an idea. He would build a great canoe, a seafaring waka, to sail all the people in his village to Teika Amaui the land that had been fished up from the sea by the demigod Maui. Rata went into the forest to search for the perfect tree, tall, straight and wide enough to carry all of his people. He found a totoro tree. He took out his axe and began to cut down the tree. He cut down the tree and started to carve out the waka. At nightfall, he stopped. But he did not realise that he had not asked the god of the forest, Tane, for his permission to use one of Tane's precious children for his waka. As he left, the insects and birds of the forest gathered together. A kiwi called Kimihia stood high on the trunk, letting out a shrill cry to silence them all. We are wasting energy with anger and tears. Rata does not know of his wrongdoing. Popo Koriki, the ant said, we should avenge this wrongdoing. We should punish Rata. He needs to be taught a lesson. Kimihia, the kiwi, replied, no, wrongdoing will not be righted with violence. Together, we will raise this tree. We will return every branch, every leaf, and every grain of sawdust until this tree stands proud once more. A large kiriru flew into the sky and said a karakia to Tane to ask for his blessing. <coughs> then all of the children of Tane put the totoro back together, piece by piece, until the mighty tree was once again standing tall. When Rata returned the next day, he stood in wonder in front of the mighty Totara he had felled the day before. Puzzled, he began again to chop down the tree and to carve it into a waka. When he left for the night, the birds and insects started their work again. The next day, the same thing happened, except when Rata had finished his work for the day, he hid in a bush to see how this magic was happening. He saw the birds and insects starting their evening work and confronted them. Why are you ruining my hard work? The kiwi stood up and said, you have disrespected Tane, you have not offered thanks or shown respect. You do not deserve this tree. Rata knew in his heart the bird was right. He explained why he wanted to build the waka to save his village from the rising seas. The kiwi told him they would decide that night, so Rata went home to his whare. The next morning, the children of Tane decided they would let him keep his waka. They surprised him at his house by bringing the finished canoe to Rata. People of the village heard the commotion and came to see what was happening. 
Rata led his people in a haka to praise the children of Tane. The people of the village sailed away to find a new home in the land of the long white cloud. <laughs>